My dear loyal brothers, we have added twice as many letters to your selection from the addendum for the book of indications you have scribed, which serves as a signature of approval from the guide for the Risalinur's truthfulness and significance. If you too have scribed a book like this for yourselves, we will also send you the parts we have added on to it. The terrifying storms of this age prove that the value shown in this book is found in the Risale Nur. Yes, my brothers, Hz. Isa, Jesus salam, said in the Holy Bible, I am living so that a counselor shall come to you, that is, so that Ahmed salam, should come. Thus, one of the greatest results, aims, and gifts the Quran has given to humankind is its consolation. Indeed, Within the terrifying storms, separations, and distractions of the universe, and in this endless and empty space, for human beings who are connected with everything, true consolation and points of support and assistance lie only in what the Quran provides. In this age, which is the most needy of that consolation, it is the risale nur which proves and shows that consolation in the most powerful manner. Because it is the risale nur which has entered the light of truth by penetrating through naturalism, the source of darkness and doubt. In most of its parts, like the 16th word, it has saved the minds from denial and hesitation by uncovering and expounding hundreds of talismans of the truths of Iman. Hence, it is this truth making people of sound mind engage with the risale nur in a repetitive way without causing burden in this tedious and terrifying time. As Rafat Bey said so rightly in his letter, the most obvious quality which stands out in the Risale Nur is that it does not cause burden. Even if it is read a hundred times, it can again be read with pleasure for the one hundred and first time. For the interpreter of the Risale Nur, occasionally glancing at future issues of the world outside his true duty leads to a degree of outward confusion. For example, he used to say 30 to 40 years ago, a light, Nur, will come, we will see an enlightened realm, and he supposed that this meaning would emerge from a broad circle and from politics. Also, 14 to 15 years ago from now, he said, those who are instigating atheism will suffer heavenless less, and predicted this tremendous, white, and terrible events in the world would take place in a small country across a limited population. Whereas the future has unfolded and interpreted both those reports from the guy to be at a much greater scale than he thought. Yes, by saying, we will see an enlightened realm, the old side felt the circle of the Salinur in meaning, but imagined it to be a broad circle of politics. In the same way, through the indication of the mystery of Inna Atena, in saying that, 13 to 14 years later, those who spread irreligion and atheism will receive severe slaps, he imagined that truth to be in a limited circle. Now, time has perfectly explained and interpreted both those truths. Indeed, foremost in the province of Sparta, the circle of the Risale Nur has shown the first truth in a most brilliant and beautiful fashion. As for the second truth, these dreadful heavenless laps which have befallen on the heads of evil spirits who instigate and take charge in instilling the rebelliousness of dissolute civilization and the plague of materialism have proven, in exact manner, the truth of that mystery of Inna Athena in a broad circle. Note, yes, the sickness of the plague of materialism has caused humanity to suffer this terrible fever and made the earth shiver. The following came to mind. The Risale Nur's conclusions, which are based on definite evidences, turn out exactly on other matters of truth, and without an explanation or interpretation they emerge as truths. As for its explanations relating to the future of the world, which are based on indications of Tawafuq and meanings imparted to the heart, why is it that explanation and interpretation are sometimes required? This following answer was warned to me. There is an extremely great mercy hidden in the fact that Almighty Erhamur Rahimin keeps events of the guy 
that are to take place in the future of the world and its affairs as unknowns and there's important wisdom in his hiding the gaib. From this perspective, he has forbidden knowledge of the gaib and it is only in a vague and concise manner through a divine inspiration or divine warning to the heart that he makes a sign become the means by which certain truths relating to the gaib can be pursued through kashf, unveilings, and through dreams, riyayi sadaka. The distinct realities of those truths become known after they have taken place. My brothers, this time the letters of Rafat and Rushdu, which Hilmi Bey brought, have greatly pleased us. After all, since Hüsrev, Rafat and Rushdu have been standing together in their connection to the risale Nur, since earlier times, whenever I think of one of them, I remember all three at once. And the thanks be to Almighty Allah that these terrible storms have not shaken them and yourselves. MashaAllah, we appreciate that until now Rafat has exactly preserved the complete loyalty and connection of his earlier days. For the last one or two years, I was worried as I had not received any of his letters or news regarding his state in the service of the Quran. This time in his letter, he says, Whenever we are gathered, we open one of the words and read together, we receive benefit in a sweet manner and we converse with our Ustad, making us offer joyful thanks. We were very pleased to hear Rushdu, who is renowned for his loyalty, explain in his letter some of the matters I was concerned about and that the service of Nur had not ceased and had not caused you any difficulty. A subtle tawafuk, in the 19th letter, Miracles of Ahmed والسلام, alone which Ahmed Nazif had scribed under great difficulty, we saw that the total sum of the tawafuk had reached the value of 9,833. We concluded that this was a karamat of the miracles of the Ahmed والسلام, in that letter. A passage by Amin and Faisi from among the students of the risale Nur. There have been so many incidents in this area for which, just like the risale Nur has become the means of barakah for villages and communities, and slaps have been dealt to those who have harmed it, so too, an apparent degree of barakah and ease in livelihood is to be seen for individuals working for it, and slaps from the gaib have come to those who work against it. Just like we see in ourselves that, every time we perform work, we see most clearly an ease in livelihood and divine favor, we have also witnessed the severe slaps received by those who work against the Sari Nur and its students. For instance, one of the pillars of the Sari Nur gives most definite news that, while three or four men who had come together for the sake of worldly riches devised plans to take certain measures as munafiqs, three days later, the homes of those three or four people and the shop of one of them caught fire, and each of them received a slap with a loss of a thousand liras. Also, a deceiving spy used to work against the Salinur students to have them imprisoned. One day, he openly announced, I have been unable to find a clue that I can use as an excuse to lock them up. I would arrest them if I could. Two days later, he got involved with some activity and ended up receiving a two-year prison sentence himself instead of the Salinur students. Another unfortunate and obstinate man was making attacks against the Salinur and against a pillar from among one of its students. A couple of days later, he went to the pub and due to extensive drinking, died there on the spot. There are so many incidents of this type. That is, just as the Risale Nur is a medicine for friends, it's a strike of lightning to its enemies. A passage by Hafiz Tefik, Mehmet Feizi, Emin, Hilmi and Kamil from among the students of the Risale Nur. Among so many signs, the multiple minor tawafuks of small and subtle yet clearly convincing incidents we have witnessed during these two days has shown the favor 
and fastly the manifested on our ustad with Qasul Azam's passage of فَإِنَّكَ مَحْرُوسٌ بِعَيْنِ الْإِنَايَةِ and has shown the tawafuqs to be one of the sources of karamat of the risale nur We will share five or six samples of divine favor we have witnessed with our eyes which have all taken place within these two days. The first, yesterday our Ustad needed three services to be performed for the risale nur but had nobody around to do them. We were far away. Ustad came down the stairs and opened the door with the thought of calling us by sending us news with a child. In an extraordinary manner, three Risalinur students who were able to perform that service arrived at the door within that minute. The second, more than two years ago, the important parts of the Risalinur which had been scribed by Hafz Ahmed, whose house had been saved from burning down through the barakah of the Risalinur, was borrowed by one or two people who were from another district and village to have it copied by hand. They lost track of these books and were too embarrassed to update us about them. Together with Hafiz Ahmed, we were left worried and upset about this for two years. Those books arrived today, while at the same time yesterday, in another incident, Hafiz Ahmed, who used to prepare small amounts of food for our Ustad's convenience and would ask about his well-being once every few days, had done so again after stopping this practice of his for two years. He had moved houses and since he was no longer a neighbor, had not continued with this customary practice for two years. Again, yesterday, around the same time, Hafiz Ahmed's son came with his hands full and asked about Ustad's well-being like he used to two years ago. Our Ustad said, no need remains for this practice of yours which has ceased two years ago. You are no longer my neighbor, you have moved. And today, at the same time, the books described by Hafiz Ahmed which were lost, were delivered to us together with their perfectly made copies. It left us with no doubt that this Tawafuq too was of the favors manifested over the Risale Nur. The third, our Ustad exactly told even today, the landlady who used to come over from her village every week has not come to collect her rent for the last four months. In any case, send news for her to come and collect the rent. At that moment, there was a knock at the door. It was that landlady who had not come for four months and she collected her rent for five months. At the pleasure of this incident of divine favor, our Ustad gave that landlady a small round bread which was not from here and was not familiar to us, it was from a distant village. At that same moment, within 20 minutes, as one thousandth of the spiritual price for studying the two Risale Nur books for two years, that same bread which was not from this village was delivered to us as a divine gift. Ustad had also given the landlady a small bit of Ashura soap. Again, as one thousandth of the reward for the study of both those books for two years, what was received was exactly ten times that Ashura and the three sweet breads. We saw it with our own eyes. Also, since he had not known her name for seven years, Ustad today asked the landlady, What is your name? She replied, Hayriye. Again, two hours later, with Tawafuq to the name of Hayriye, an incident took place regarding a student of the Risale Nur by the name of Hayri. We were not aware of it, but he had left for Istanbul and two important students too had gone there for business matters and arrived late. Due to the material and spiritual storms, our Ustad was very concerned about them together with another important student there. Today, two hours after Hayri left, that Hayri arrived at the door and comforted our Ustad about his concerns for those three students. That day, Ustad had finished a small bottle of fragrance called Tefarik, which he was using for the last four months. Hayri extended a small bottle in his hand and said, I have brought you Tefarik. We too said Barakallah to this small and subtle Tewafuk about the Tefarik. Just like these small instances, over these two days, 
Our Ustad has seen many other instances of this due to his engagements with imending the miracles of Ahmed Since we are able to observe such manifestations of favor in two days, if one looks carefully, everyone in the circle of the Risale Nur will see similar instances in themselves according to their degree of service. The Risale Nur students, Hafiz Tefik, yes, Hilmi, yes, Kamil, yes, Hayri, yes, Mehmet Feizi, yes, Emin, yes, we saw with our own eyes. Yes, I too confirm this, Said Nursi. My dear loyal brothers, in this severe winter and this spiritually fearsome winter season of another kind, due to my concern for humanity, and the compassion towards my fellow human beings, I felt an extreme sense of sadness and pain for those helplessly suffering under this other kind of horrendous and bloody season of winter in the social life of humanity. Once again, as I have expressed in many places, the wisdom and mercy of their compassionate and merciful Creator who is Erhamur Rahimin and Ahkamul Hakimin came to my heart's rescue. It was ritually sad to me. This excessive compassion of yours will be a sort of objection to the wisdom and mercy of that all-wise and merciful one. You cannot have a compassion greater than divine mercy. In the sphere of contingency, you cannot have a wisdom that is more perfect than the wisdom of Rububiyya. Remember that those who are rebellious will be punished. And those who are innocent and oppressed will be rewarded ten times greater than the difficulties they face. You should view the events outside the circle of your will from the perspective of His mercy, wisdom, justice, and rububiyya. And I was saved from that unnecessary and severe pain arising from compassion. Thirty years ago, they asked the following while I was traveling amongst the tribes. Complaints arising about this time an age which are voiced by even the Greeks and the Evliya express complaints about destiny and this age. Does this not amount to an objection to the all-glorious Maker's wonderful creation? The answer, no, by no means. Rather, the meaning of it is as follows. The complaining person is as though saying, the order I desire, the thing that I wish for, and the state that I aspire to, does not fit the make-up of the world, ordered by the principles of pre-eternal, ezeli wisdom, it is not suited to the laws of destiny, decorated by the patterns of the compass of pre-eternal favor, it does not conform to the nature of time, printed in the printing press of pre-eternal will, it is not favored by divine wisdom which puts general purposes in place, so that the world of possibility should pick all the fruits sought by the determinations of our intelligence and the appetite of our desires from the absolute bestower's hand of power. Even if that fruit was granted, it could not be grasped, and even if it fell, it could not be carried. Yes, a great all-encompassing spear cannot be stopped from its important activities from the whims of a person. It is with this, that in addition to the reply given 30 years ago, the Risale Nur adds a small note to the topic of earthquakes and says, In our elements, within events such as the material and spiritual winters and earthquakes, there are hundreds of beneficial results and aims. To stop their activity for only one result that is evil and harmful is to cause hundreds of evils by preventing hundreds of benefits to avoid a single evil. This is completely contrary to wisdom, truth, and rububiyya. However, for individuals crying for help under the pressures of universal laws, Rahman Rahim, the most merciful of the merciful, can send rescue to each wretched being through his special favor with a particular aid and a private bestowal. He can help them in their tribulations. But this help will not be according to the desires of the individual but to its true benefits. Sometimes, instead of a piece of glass which is desired in this world, a diamond will be given in the hereafter. 
Since tawafus are one of the sweetest fruits among the important truths by our Ustad and the Risale Nur, as a note to the previous tawafus we sent you, we will write for our brothers one or two small tawafus that have taken place throughout these two days. Indeed, the tawafus found in the words and in the words of our letters show an intent and special favor. Sometimes it is so extraordinary that it reaches the level of karamat and sometimes it takes a subtle form of elegance. So too, in the incidents relating to the Risale Nur and Ustad, we can see the same tawafuk in the arrangement of events with intent and favor. For example, the tawafuk in our previous letter about the landlady who had not come to collect her rent for four months was her knocking the door, as our Ustad said, sad news to her. In two separate occasions, while reading out the sentence in that letter as the words to Amin were being read, that very moment Amin entered through the door downstairs. This visit was outside his usual hours. On the second day, as it was being read to another person, the exact moment the words to Amin was read, Amin came in through the door upstairs, which was not his usual practice. Both these tawafuks corresponding to the tawafuk of the landlady shows that even our smallest activities are not coincidental but a deliberate tawafuk. Furthermore, among the students of the Risale Nur, Fuad, who had brought us some tarhana sap for months ago, had gone to Istanbul. His coming on the same day, we were concerned about his third day delayed arrival was in tawafuk with the same day his tarhana sahab was finished. Also, on the same day, the finishing of the piece of butter for which we and Ustad felt the barakah of was in tawafuk with the delivery of what we believe was the same amount at that same moment and place. Likewise, a bread roll which is baked in the ashes by the villagers here and which Ustad enjoyed eating from in the mornings and evenings had finished after 15 days. That same day, one of his relatives brought along with him the same bread roll. For the sake of this tevafuk, Ustad did not turn it back and accepted it and gave something in return for Berakah. We saw with our eyes the minor manifestations of the sweet divine favors in the subtle tevafuk and we understood that blind chance does not interfere in our affairs. Just as profound tawafuks appear in the words and letters of the Risale Nur, so too profound tawafuks can be found in the actions and deeds relating to the Risale Nur. And since divine favor applies, even if it is a very minor matter, its value is great. Writing at length in this way and attaching much importance will not be excessive, since what is intended is its meaning, which is the favor and complement of mercy it makes even this discussion a spiritual form of appreciation. From among the students of the Risale Nur, Emin Feyze. My dear loyal brothers, the custodian of the Nur factory and champion Tahir have sent us news that has greatly pleased us and they ask questions about certain matters. The decision reached by your members and the manner which they deem suitable will inshallah be more accurate than my own opinion. Since they wish to consider my opinion too, for now there is no need for the printers who were previously reluctant. Also, since it is a type of permission given by the Risale Nur for the new alphabet which is against our methods, it is not necessary. What you can print with the duplicating machine is sufficient. Nazif is also working with the duplicating machine to a certain extent. Serious attention should be given to its emendation. The writings of my brothers who possess writings in the former alphabet leave no need for printing presses. They should assist us. As for the second matter you ask, the two risales in the new alphabet that I have given to Hafuz Mustafa, most of it should be kept separately and some of them kept together. The title of Sirajul Gafilin, The Lamp for the Heedless, or Gençlik Rehberi, a guidebook for youth, can be given to the small Risale about youth, the title of Hüccetullahil Baliga, 
the fully fledged proofs or misbahul iman, the light of iman, for the risale about tawhid and for the book of karamat, the title sikkei tasdiki gaibi, the seal of approval from the gaib, or tasdiki gaibinin hatemi, the stamp of approval from the gaib can be given. If the Arabic Virdulek Perul Nuria is printed as a facility for those risale Nur students who do not know Arabic, it will be good to include a numbered note on the side of the page of the page numbers referring to the explanations and interpretations in the seventh ray, Ayatul Kubra, and the twentieth letter. That is, it will be good for there to be pointers saying the explanation of this Arabic station can be found in this risale on this page and for our brothers to distribute this with their diamond pens, each noting down these pointers on some copies, and for you to have one or two sample copies that you have made with the duplicating machine, or with those that have been printed, sent to us. My dear loyal brothers, with regard to the rise in the cost of goods, the famine within this abundant wealth, and the struggle for livelihood burdening the poor in this intense material and spiritual winter, I became extremely worried at the possibility that students of the Risale Nur who are most the poor would suffer from this ghastly state and have their solidarity spoiled. During this turbulent time, on behalf of the Risale Nur's sacred duty of Iman, you are responsible and required now more than ever to preserve your cooperation and unity to not look at each other's faults and to not criticize one another. Beware of being offended by each other and do not criticize one another. Otherwise, if you show the slightest weakness, the people of this court will take advantage and cause you great harm. There is necessity to respond to the troubles of livelihood with frugality and contentment. I am concerned since many from among the people of truth and the people of Tariqah even have been driven to compete with one another due to worldly benefits. So far, this aspect has not caused any harm for students of the Risale Nur. Inshallah, neither will it now. But everyone cannot be at the same level of morality. If some seek their comfort within the circle of Halal, it should not be objected to. A student who falls into necessity can accept zakat. Helping those who dedicate their time to the service of the Risale Nur through zakat is also a type of service to the Risale Nur. Help should be given, but it should not be sought with greed, ambition, and by disposition. Otherwise, there are those people of misguidance who on the way of greed and ambition have sacrificed their religion. They will compare it with themselves and say from their own perspectives, certain students of the Risale Nur too use their religion as an instrument for the world and thereby open the gateway for such foul accusatory attacks. From time to time, you should read amongst the yourselves the flashes on ikhlas and frugality and sometimes read the hujumat sitte, the six stratagems. The extraordinary steadfastness, resilience, solidarity and unity you have shown until now is at such a level that it will be a source of pride for this nation and will save its future. Beware, do not allow this new storm to spoil your solidarity. Your good news about the Arabic Virdul Akbar al Nuriya and the constant efforts of the champion Tahiri and his group and the blessed group delivering the cures and medicines and running to aid contagious and terrible diseases gives pleasure not only to us but also to the angelic beings and the dignitaries of the Gaib. Hulusi's complete appreciation and confirmation of the point of miraculousness of Vel Asr and his transfer to Konya in terms of the service of the Nur has pleased me. Indeed, it was necessary for one of the foremost active students of the Risale Nur to go to that important city. Brothers, the description informers of Isparta used in the flesh on defense speeches was addressed to the tyrants in Ankara who have impelled us to be imprisoned. We had no choice but to express it in that way. Since Sparta is a blessed homeland of mine and is the beloved homeland of many of my valuable brothers, 
I have now taken out the words in farmers of Sparta and written Ate's tyrants in its place. You too should write it like this. Also, in the Risale on Defense speeches which champion Tahir has written for me, he has titled the matter in Ankara as the eighth herb from the flesh for the elderly. It is in fact the seventh herb. You can imagine that as well. To our brother Hüsnü Efendi, who like Tahiri has a champion son and has six Risale in her students at home, we too offer him our salam and congratulations. <laughs>